What's up everybody? It's Titan Free Jack and I'm back at you with another video. Today we're about to take a look at a sneaker that's set to release on May the 18th. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button, hit that thumbs up button on today's video. Help the video out. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at. Do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with a new video and sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now, when I say this sneaker releases May 18th, you should know what I'm already talking about. You see the box, yep, we got that black top, Jordan and white, red Jordan Jumpman behind it. See Nike Air on here and give you guys a look at that box tag. There you go. I'm gonna read, go ahead, excuse me, and read the box tag to you. It says Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. And the color is black, varsity royal, and white. This is a size 11. I believe these will retail at, oh, don't make me lie to you. I'll put it on the screen. I don't know uh, what Jordan Lowe's retail at because I don't own any for the toe. I don't wear Jordan 11 Lowe's because they'll look crazy on my feet. This is what I'm used to. I'm used to this right here. The Space Jam Mids size 15 thing. So I couldn't get the lows. Could you imagine how this would look on my feet? So I'm showing you the, the mid right now. So uh, you know I'm about to show you the lows. Yes, we are about to look at the Space Jam 11 lows as I showed you that on the top. There was no lot stamp inside the top. You have that pattern on your paper. It's the same pattern that you have on that carbon fiber shank plate. And there you go. You're out of the box. You go ahead and get both shoes out of the box. I do see that YCM sticker down here in the corner, that green and white YCM sticker. There's nothing else extra in the box. We're gonna put this together, see what we got here. Let's get into the review. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 11 Low, the Space Jam. Uh, there's a little bit of hype building behind the sneaker. I'm not sure if uh, the hype is real, but we'll find out in due time. But we're gonna go ahead and look at the sneaker. You got an all black base sneaker. You got mesh material on your upper right here. Then you got your your five uh, eyelets to lace them up with. Then you got that patent leather. The patent leather is black. Uh, the traditional patent leather what you would normally get on the Jordan 11s. You now have it on the low. You got that white on your midsole. You have a translucent. Uh, material on the bottom of that that's gonna lead to the outsole you can see your carbon fiber uh shank plate underneath there plug that you do see a jordan jump man you got that concord color grip is for your grip traction that is herringbone traction at the forefoot and at the heel of the sneaker here is the rear of the sneaker you see you have the number two three on the pair that I showed you guys earlier, there is a four or five on there. Uh, so we got the two, three on the lows because that was on them uh, when they originally came out. And you do have a Concord Jordan Jumpman stitched on and it's some type of leather. But if you ask me, is that full leather, F-A-U-X, that full leather? Not sure if Jordan Brand uses that leather. If I'm wrong, I apologize in advance. And we're gonna go ahead to the medial side of the sneaker, excuse me. You have more of that mesh going on up here. You got your five lace eyelets going on there. You got your pad leather on here. And you got your white on your midsole, the fire line midsole. And you do have your translucent material right there, that rubber. And we already plucked the uh, carbon fiber uh, shank plate. You do got a uh, tissue it comes stuffed with. And here's a closer look at that patent leather. There you go. 
Let's see. Uh, I don't see any Whittle Peak on here, but that's one of the differences between those lows and these mids. You see, I have the Whittle Peak right there. There you go. We don't have the Whittle Peak on the lows, so that's one of the differences I see. The Whittle Peak and the number two three on the back. Uh, you got your uh, tongue. And you can see Jumpman Jordan is written in uh, white with the kind of color Jordan Jumpman. And here you go. Quality inspired by the quality basketball products, I should say, excuse me. Inspired by the greatest player ever. Okay. Let's see, does the answer? Yep, the answer does come out. We got a black insert, kind of called color jaw jump man, and you can see this is a US size 11, and this is another dream cell insert, and we're going to try to look at that sizing tag. I'm not sure what the stock numbers are going to be on these, but uh, let me know what y'all think, uh, what y'all thinking about these so far. Uh, we do have a size 11 and the production day is October 4th of 2023 to January 5th, 2024. So about two months of production with these. So let me know your thoughts on these and your plans for the sneaker. Do comment down below. Don't forget, um, excuse me, don't forget to hit that notification bell and like the video. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, Help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic for EJ, signing out.